C I E T N C E R T presents audiobook of mathematics for class 7 chapter 9 rational numbers page 173 9.1 introduction you began your study of numbers by counting objects around you the numbers used for this purpose were called counting numbers or natural numbers. They are 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. By including 0 to natural numbers, we got the whole numbers. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. The negatives of natural numbers were then put together with whole numbers to make up integers. Integers are minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. We thus extended the number system from natural numbers to whole numbers and from whole numbers to integers. You were also introduced to fractions. These are numbers of the form numerator upon denominator where the numerator is either zero or a positive integer and the denominator a positive integer. You compared two fractions, found their equivalent forms and studied all the four basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division on them. In this chapter, we shall extend the number system further. We shall introduce the concept of rational numbers, along with their addition, subtraction, multiplication and division operations. 9.2 Need for Rational Numbers Earlier, we have seen how integers could be used to denote opposite situations involving numbers. For example, if the distance of 3 kilometers to the right of a place was denoted by 3, then the distance of 5 kilometers to the left of the same place could be denoted by minus 5. If a profit of 150 rupees was represented by 150, then a loss of 100 rupees could be written as minus 100. There are many situations similar to the above situations that involve fractional numbers. You can represent a distance of 750 meters above sea level as 3 upon 4 kilometer. Can we represent 750 meters below sea level in kilometers? Can we denote the distance of 3 upon 4 kilometer below sea level by minus 3 upon 4? We can see minus 3 upon 4 is neither an integer nor a fractional number. We need to extend our number system to include such numbers. Page 174 9.3 What are rational numbers? The word rational arises from the term ratio. You know that a ratio like 3 is to 2 can also be written as 3 upon 2. Here, 3 and 2 are natural numbers. Similarly, the ratio of two integers P and Q, where Q is not equal to 0, that is, P is to Q can be written in the form P upon Q. This is the form in which rational numbers are expressed. 
A rational number is defined as a number that can be expressed in the form P upon Q, where P and Q are integers and Q is not equal to zero. Thus, 4 upon 5 is a rational number. Here, P is equal to 4 and Q is equal to 5. Is minus 3 upon 4 also a rational number? Yes, because P is equal to minus 3 and Q is equal to 4 are integers. You have seen many fractions like 3 upon 8, 4 upon 8, 1, 2 upon 3, etc. All fractions are rational numbers. Can you say why? How about the decimal numbers like 0 0.5, 2.3, etc.? Each of such numbers can be written as an ordinary fraction and hence are rational numbers. For example, 0 0.5 is equal to 5 upon 10. 0 0.333 is equal to 333 upon 1000, etc. Try these. 1. Is the number 2 upon minus 3 rational? Think about it. 2. List 10 rational numbers. Numerator and denominator. In P upon Q, the integer P is the numerator and the integer Q, which is not equal to 0, is the denominator. Thus, in minus 3 upon 7, the numerator is minus 3 and the denominator is 7. Mention five rational numbers, each of whose a. Numerator is a negative integer and denominator is a positive integer. b. Numerator is a positive integer and denominator is a negative integer. c. Numerator and denominator both are negative integers. d. Numerator and denominator both are positive integers. Are integers also rational numbers? Any integer can be thought of as a rational number. For example, the integer minus 5 is a rational number because you can write it as minus 5 upon 1. The integer 0 can also be written as 0 is equal to 0 upon 2 or 0 upon 7 etc. Hence, it is also a rational number. Thus, rational numbers include integers and fractions. Page 175 Equivalent Rational Numbers A rational number can be written with different numerators and denominators. For example, consider the rational number minus 2 upon 3. Minus 2 upon 3 is equal to minus 2 multiplied by 2 upon 3 multiplied by 2, which is equal to minus 4 upon 6. We see that minus 2 upon 3 is the same as minus 4 upon 6. Also, minus 2 upon 3 is equal to minus 2 multiplied by minus 5 upon 3 multiplied by minus 5, which is equal to 10 upon minus 15. So, minus 2 upon 3 is also the same as 10 upon minus 15. Thus, minus 2 upon 3 is equal to minus 4 upon 6, which is equal to 10 upon minus 15. Such rational numbers that are equal to each other are said to be equivalent to each other. Again, 10 upon minus 15 is equal to minus 10 upon 15. How? By multiplying the numerator and denominator of a rational number, 
by the same non-zero integer, we obtain another rational number equivalent to the given rational number. This is exactly like obtaining equivalent fractions. Just as multiplication, the division of the numerator and denominator by the same non-zero integer also gives equivalent rational numbers. For example, 10 upon minus 15 is equal to 10 divided by minus 5 upon minus 15 divided by minus 5, which is equal to minus 2 upon 3. Minus 12 upon 24 is equal to minus 12 divided by 12 upon 24 divided by 12, which is equal to minus 1 upon 2. We write minus 2 upon 3 as minus 2 upon 3. Minus 10 upon 15 as minus 10 upon 15, etc. Try these. Fill in the boxes. 1. 5 upon 4 is equal to dash upon 16, which is equal to 25 upon dash, which is equal to minus 15 upon dash. 2. Minus 3 upon 7 is equal to dash upon 14, which is equal to 9 upon dash, which is equal to minus 6 upon dash. 9.4. Positive and negative rational numbers. Consider the rational number 2 upon 3. Both the numerator and denominator of this number are positive integers. Such a rational number is called a positive rational number. So, 3 upon 8, 5 upon 7, 2 upon 9, etc. are positive rational numbers. The numerator of minus 3 upon 5 is a negative integer whereas the denominator is a positive integer. Such a rational number is called a negative rational number. So, minus 5 upon 7, minus 3 upon 8, minus 9 upon 5, etc. are negative rational numbers. Try these. 1. Is 5 a positive rational number? 2. List 5 more positive rational numbers. Page 176 Is 8 upon minus 3 a negative rational number? We know that 8 upon minus 3 is equal to 8 multiplied by minus 1 upon minus 3 multiplied by minus 1, which is equal to minus 8 upon 3 and minus 8 upon 3 is a negative rational number. So, 8 upon minus 3 is a negative rational number. Similarly, 5 upon minus 7, 6 upon minus 5, 2 upon minus 9, etc. are all negative rational numbers. Note that their numerators are positive and their denominators negative. The number 0 is neither a positive nor a negative rational number. What about minus 3 upon minus 5? You will see that minus 3 upon minus 5 is equal to minus 3 multiplied by minus 1 upon minus 5 multiplied by minus 1, which is equal to 3 upon 5. So, Minus 3 upon minus 5 is a positive rational number. Thus, minus 2 upon minus 5, minus 5 upon minus 3, etc. are positive rational numbers. Try these. 1. Is minus 8 a negative rational number? 2. 
List five more negative rational numbers. Try these. Which of these are negative rational numbers? 1. Minus 2 upon 3. 2. 5 upon 7. 3. 3 upon minus 5. 4. 0. 5. 6 upon 11. 6. Minus 2 upon minus 9. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Samya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India.